All right, we are at the Knock Picks booth or the Infrared Outdoors or IRA booth, whatever you want to call it, and we are checking out the brand new Hybrid Compact. So this is, as far as I know, to my knowledge, the first 10 micron thermal that's ever been commercially available. So when we talk about microns, we're talking about the pixel pitch in the sensor, which is basically the size. So if you remember, we, we had 17s and now most everything that's new has 12. Well, this one is now 10, which makes it a, a smaller pixel. It means you get more detail. Uh, this hybrid compact can be used as a clip-on. It can be used as a standalone scope. It's got uh, iRay's new mount on it, and I don't know enough to talk about that, but it does have it. So anyway, you can see here it's set up as a clip-on, and they've done some really cool and interesting things here. It is light, it is small, it's a 50 millimeter objective. It's a 640, um, but like I said, it is that 10 micron, and it's a nat 15 for sensitivity. So it has a built-in laser range finder right here on the side and it has ballistics inside. So you range with it, it's gonna give you your holds uh, depending on how you wanna uh, use that and plug it in. You can switch quickly between handheld, standalone, and clip-on just with the switch, which is really nice because I hate pushing buttons in the dark. This is your focus up here, um, but it's short, it's compact, and honestly, this thing's light enough to actually be a clip-on. Uh, and that actually performs pretty darn good. So anyway, that's the basic features uh, and, and set of what we've got going on on the new hybrid compact. Oh, and I forgot, this is important. It takes an 18650 battery. It's mounted crossways in the body so that recoil doesn't disturb the power, which is pretty darn cool. So I'm pretty excited to actually get this and test it. It's a couple months out, but we know about it. It's here. Uh, I got to play with it. So far, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm going to take a second in a minute and compare it to a 1280 to kind of try and see what the 10 microns really does for us. Uh, and if you're better off with a 1280, thir or 1280, 12 micron, or if you're better off with a 640, 10 micron. I don't know the answer, but maybe you guys do. Tell us in the comments if you know.